Wise guy bets here with some DFS fantasy picks for today, which is uh, 7 7 2021. We have nine games on the DraftKings main slate. We're looking at that slate and we're going to look at the pitcher position first. Let's get right into it. Let's look at Mr. Luis Garcia for Houston. Uh, his projection for tonight is 15.7 fantasy points. He has a 3.14 ERA. He has 90 strikeouts. He's getting about five. He's averaging about five innings pitch per game. Uh, his fantasy point average on the season is 17. His last three games are 24, 18, and 7. He's coming off a of 7. He only pitched four innings in that uh, game that he has seven fantasy points. Uh, the Oakland only bats uh, 0.087 against him. They're two for 23, small sample size, but it seems like they have a problem hitting him. Against Oakland, his last five, uh, 0, 0, 0, 18, and 22. I think he can get six innings. Six innings is going to put us up around 18 to uh, 25 points. Uh, so Mr. Garcia at 9,600 is someone I want to get into my lineup tonight at pitcher. Let's also look at the pitcher position. Let's look at uh, Domingo uh, German for uh, New York Yankees. His projection for tonight is 17.4 fantasy points. ERA is high, 4.5. Uh, he's getting about, uh, he's averaging about 5.1 innings pitched uh, per game. His last three games, fantasy point wise, eight, five, and one. Not good at all. Uh, he's on the road in a small sample size. His team is only batting 105 against him. Uh, he's 7,700. I like his price. Definitely mm -hmm. like him. Someone to take a chance on in tournaments. So uh, he is someone I definitely want to look at trying to get my into my lineups tonight, especially in a tournament situation. His last game against Seattle, he had 35 fantasy points. So let's move on to the uh, catcher position. At catcher, I'm looking at Reese McGuire for Toronto. His projection on the night is 6.5 fantasy points. Uh, he's batting two third. He's batting 279 on the season. He's getting about 2.7 at bats uh, over his last three games. Zero, 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 zero. Hasn't played well at all uh, in his last three games. We're looking at a point, a run total projection of 11 tonight. He's two for four against the Baltimore pitcher with two, but two doubles. So he has all his hits against Mr. Harvey, our extra base hits. A uh, place to get back on track, especially after three zeros in his past three games. I would say, you know, anywhere from seven to uh, 14 fantasy points, I think he will get. Um, he's 3,100. So he's someone I definitely want to take a chance with. It's a value pick at the catcher position. Uh, Mr. McGuire is someone I want to look at to get, in, get into my lineups tonight. Let's look at the first base position. We're looking at Christian Walker uh, for Arizona. His projection for tonight is 9.3 uh, fantasy points. Average on the season is uh, batting average is 223. He's getting about 3.6 at bats uh, per game. His last uh, three games fantasy point wise is five, five, and seven. His salary is 3,100. And he's eight for 17 against the Colorado pitcher with uh, three singles, three doubles, two home runs. He's batting 471 against his pitcher. Uh, you can say he has his pitcher's number, and that's why I like him. He's going to make contact against his pitcher. Uh, the over under run total for tonight is nine and a half. Uh, his last five games against Colorado is 5, 18, 5, 0, and 7. But I like Mr. Walker in his position tonight, especially like the salary. 3,100, someone I'm definitely going to put a star by tonight, someone I definitely want to look at getting into my lineup as a value pick at the first base position. Let's look at the second base position. We're going to go with uh, Jose Atuve for Houston. Uh, 8.6 projection on the night, 286. He's getting 4.1 at bats per game. His average on the season, 10 fantasy points. His last three games, fantasy point-wise, is 10, 3, 16. 
He's nine for 39 against this pitcher with seven singles, one double, one home run. He's batting 231 against the Oakland pitcher. Uh, Mr. Altuve is someone we can uh, look at putting in our lineups every night because he's very, very consistent. Uh, he's 4,900 tonight on DraftKings. His last five against Oakland is 14, 8, 17, 14, and 16. I like him tonight. Uh, the over-under projection on rounds is 8.5. I like him tonight because he's very consistent and he plays against Oakland very well. So Mr. Atuve is someone I want to get into my lineups tonight at the second base position. Let's look at third base. At third base, I'm looking at El Arado Escobar for Arizona. His projection on that is 8.6 fantasy points. He has 18 homers on the season, He's batting 248. He gets about 3.8 at bats per game. His last three games, fantasy point wise, is 3 0 9. Uh, He's 4,400 on DraftKings. He's batting 7 for 29 against his pitcher with five singles, one triple, one home run. He's batting 241 against the Colorado pitcher. His last five games against Colorado is 7, 6, 23, 0, and 9. I like his position. I like his success rate against the pitcher. He's in home. Uh, coming off a decent game of nine fantasy points. I see, he, I see him getting over uh, – his projection tonight of 8.6 fantasy points. That's what I look for. I look for players who I think can, can meet, uh, exceed their projected fantasy points for the night. So Mr. Escobar is someone I definitely want to look at getting into my lineups tonight at the third base position. Let's look at the shortstop position. We're looking at Josh Rojas for Arizona. Another player from this Arizona Colorado game with the, uh, Projected run total of nine and a half. Uh, his projection on the night is 8.3 fantasy points. He has 10 home runs. He's batting 251 on the season. He's getting about 3.4 at bats per game. Uh, his last three games, fantasy point wise, is 5, 0, and 11. Uh, his salary is 3,300. I like the salary for him tonight. He is 5 for 10 against his pitcher, batting 500, four singles, one home run. Mr. Rojas is someone I want to look at getting into my lineup tonight at the shortstop position. Let's go to the outfield. In the outfield, we're looking at George Springer. Uh, Draft Dashboard has him as their top pick, and he's also one of my top picks from the outfield tonight. His projection is eight and a half. He's betting 228 on the season. He getting 3.6 at bats per game. Uh, his uh, last three games fantasy point wise is 18, 0, and 3. Uh, he's 4,800 on DraftKings going against Baltimore and uh, on the road. Um, he's betting 5 for 10 against the Baltimore pitcher. Uh, he's betting 500, two singles, three home runs. He has three home runs and 10 at bats at this pitcher. He's going to make contact, solid contact. And again, if the pitcher chooses to Pitch around him, he gets on base with a pinch of the potential to score runs. So, Mr. Springer is, you know, possibly even a core pick tonight. So, George Springer is someone I want to get into my lineups tonight in the outfield. Those are my picks for today. Go ahead and hit that like button so more people can find my great, 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 great videos. Uh, it really does help me out. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can know when new videos are posted. So until the next video, peace.